Dr. Sass, Dr. Terry is about to turn off his stimulator for us. Can you tell us what impact that will have? In this area of the brain where his stimulator is implanted, when the stimulator is turned off, the symptoms of Parkinson's disease return quickly. Um, and uh, Dr. Terrio has a, um, a tremor. Uh, that's one of the main symptoms of his disease. Um, and when he turns off the stimulator, uh, the tremor returns quickly. And when he turns it on, it, uh, it's eliminated uh, just as quickly. And that's, that's what your disease would look like Yes. If you didn't have the stimulator in. That's what my disease looks like. Looks period. Like, looks like <laughs> okay. Well, please turn it off for us. On for us. Dr. Sass, can you help us uh, understand the physiology of, of what just happened? Parkinson's disease uh, can be thought of as um, um, an altered uh, state of excitation and inhibition in a network of uh, areas of the brain that are involved in smooth movements and uh, in uh, performing and planning movements. Deep brain stimulation uh, restores the normal balance that's lost uh, in Parkinson's disease and, uh, and, and that's the effect uh, that it has. You don't spend all your time thinking of anything else except trying to control your tremor. The DBS procedure doesn't cure uh, Parkinson's, but rather uh, slows the progress of, of the disease. Well, what, what, and essentially putting it into remission for a time. Yes. What has that meant to you? I would probably be in a wheelchair today if it wasn't, uh, or close to it, if I hadn't had my DBS surgery. And I'd be completely dependent on my spouse to, for, for care. I would be able to drive my car. I wouldn't be able to uh, go about my daily life, uh, you know, in a, in a quality way. I think that it's it's a godsend, really.